this the next poem is a uh, a parody of a poem by William Carlos Williams, which I love. But I saw in some of <clears throat> Williams's poems something which, if carried a little further, could become insanity. In that, in his poetry, desire always wins, no matter what. I mean, he, he it always wins if he's supposed to be going to a patient's house and he wants to stop to look at a tree, he stops and that's terrific because it feels good and saves the patient. Anyway. The poem this is a variation on is um, this poem. This is just to say, I've eaten the plums that were in the icebox and which you were probably saving for breakfast. Forgive me, they were delicious, so sweet, so cold. I saw something in my own personality which could drive this over the edge, so I wrote these variations on a theme by William Carlos Williams. One, I chopped down the house that you had been saving to live in next summer. I am sorry, but it was morning. And I had nothing to do. And its wooden beams were so inviting. Two, we laughed at the hollyhocks together, and then I sprayed them with lye. <laughs> Forgive me, I simply do not know what I am doing. I gave away the money that you had been saving to live on for the next ten years. <laughs> the man who asked for it was shabby, and the firm March wind on the porch was so juicy and cold. Four. Last evening we went dancing, and I broke your leg. <laughs> Forgive me, I was clumsy, and I wanted you here in the wards where I am the doctor. 